So the first thing I'm doing is tying my hair back and applying a hair net to my hair. And then I'm taking the Snazaroo Special Effects Wax and I'm going to apply this to my eyebrows. This will protect the hairs and it won't rip it out later on when we come to use the liquid latex. So I'm really pressing the hairs down flat to the skin as much as I can. Then I'm taking the RCMA No Colour Translucent Powder with a brush to really press this into the skin and set that wax. And then I'm taking a large clean fluffy brush just to wipe off any excess powder. This is a must for this look, you would need liquid latex and you will also need some cotton wool. I don't have the fluffy kind, I only have these cotton rounds. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting them in half. I wanted to create an angry looking raised brow bone. So I'm applying the liquid latex over the brows and then placing down that cotton pad on top and then soaking that cotton pad with more liquid latex. Using the end of the brush, I'm going to mould and manipulate this brow so that it faces down. It also looks like an arch to the brow bone. So you really want to make sure the cotton pads are completely soaked with liquid latex. And then just use the end of the brush instead of the bristles so that it doesn't ruin the hair. The reason why I'm doing this is because it makes that brow bone protrude more and will give you that hollow effect when it comes to the eyes later on. Then I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to sketch out where I want the facial features to be. I'm sketching out the hollow nose, the cheekbone area, the chin. Anywhere you want to hollow out, you want to sketch out with this pencil. It will just help you to know where you want things to go on the face. And then I'm taking some more cotton again and liquid latex. So again, using the end of the brush and liquid latex, I'm going to trace over these white spaces that we just put on the face and then apply more cotton to that area. You want to use fluffy cotton for this because it adds a really cool texture once it's dried down. Again, same method as before, you want to soak the cotton with the liquid latex and manipulate and mould with the end of the brush. Now moving on to the nose, same technique as before. Applying the liquid latex down first, then the cotton, and then more liquid latex on top. I'm trying to feather out the ends of the cotton as much as I can with liquid latex. Then I'm moving on to the top of the lip and I wanted to create more texture and dimension there again because otherwise it will look very flat on the skin. So I'm using half a cotton round on the top lip and then I'm using fluffier cotton for the chin to make the chin protrude more. To make the chin look like it's sticking out more I'm doing two round balls of cotton and then soaking that in liquid latex. And then moving on to the bottom lip and the space just above the chin, I'm adding some more cotton and latex there. I also added some little eye bags underneath the eyes because I feel like the texture there will be really good. 
just to fill in that space as well. And then for the teeth, I am using some cotton wool soaked in liquid latex to really mould and perfect these teeth. I only want a few teeth, I want this to look like he's missing quite a few teeth. So I'm going to make a couple of rows of teeth with a few random gaps. If you have fake vinyl veneer teeth, you could use them, but I don't have any left. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to use a liquid latex or cotton to do this. It has the same technique in the end and it looks the exact same. Once the liquid latex is dried, then you can set the face ready to paint. Again, I'm going to be using the translucent powder from RCMA. And then for the complexion of this Crypt Keeper, I want it to look like a very old and dead Crypt Keeper that's been there for hundreds of years. So I want a very pale complexion, almost like a grey effect. So I'm using the Dermacol Cream Foundation just because it's really easy to blend. I'm applying this all over the skin but I'm going to ignore the teeth and leave the teeth as they are. And then once you've done that, you want to set this because it is cream and it does go everywhere and slip and slide around the face. So I'm applying some more translucent powder to set that cream. I'm then using the PS Cream Contour Kit and I need to use some oil with this just to rehydrate this because it has dried a lot. So I'm using a few drops of the PS oil. And then taking a pencil rounded dome brush, I'm going to apply that cream contour shade into the spaces we have provided. I'm also adding some contour shadows around the chin, anywhere we want to protrude in and set it back into the face and look more shadowy and casted there. That is where I'm going to apply the cream contour. I'm applying it around the furrow brow as well and down the nose to add more depth and dimension. Moving on to the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to be taking the matte brown colour in this and I'm going to go over all of that cream contour we've just done with a deeper dark matte shade, adding again more dimension to this look. I wanted this Crypt Keeper to look very old and pale, so I'm keeping the complexion very pale with lots and lots of shadow effects from the contour. Then I am taking an angled small precision brush with a black eyeshadow and I'm adding even darker depths to this look by adding a very small amount of black. This will just really add that darkness we needed, it was just missing that depth. I'm also creating thin little lines in that space under the cheekbones because it looks like the skin is drawn in and pulling in on itself and just adding more dimension there. I'm going to darken my waterline and knock out the skin tone by using a black water pencil. This is the LA Girl Glide Gel Pencil in black. And then I'm going back to that Dermacol foundation again and I'm going to apply this over the teeth. I wanted to add this last so it added more like a highlight effect to the teeth. It 
if you have a grey wig that will work perfectly. I unfortunately didn't have any grey wigs, so what I used was a light brown wig. This was looking very different from what I was imagining in my head. So I grabbed some scissors and I started chopping away the hair, very randomly and sporadic. You don't want this to be neat. This is a sort of look that the messier it looks, the better in the end. Because this wig had a fringe, I opted to do a very short micro fringe because I felt like this would actually suit it better. And then I'm adding a ton of dry shampoo to this wig so that it whitens the hair and makes it look more grey effect. Then I'm taking a ton of sheer voil material pieces and I'm adding them like a neck cravat. I'm adding quite a few of these so it looks like a ruffle effect neck trim. Then I'm wearing a black cloak and I'm spraying loads of dry shampoo on this to make it look old and dingy. Then last but not least, to complete the finished look, I'm applying white mesh contact lenses from Pinky Paradise. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. This was so much fun to do and this is one of my favourite looks I've done this Halloween. I've wanted to do a Crypt Keeper on my channel for the longest time, but I wanted to make sure I had everything I needed for this look. So today was the day I filmed this and I'm so happy with this. This is definitely a very creepy look for Halloween, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have an amazing Halloween guys and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.